If this is the first time to this channel and you would like to know everything about living in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about properties in the current market in Pigeon Forge. My name's Deanna Dellinger, and along with my real estate partner, Renee Styles, we get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Hi, we're here in Pigeon Forge because a lot of our clients have asked us, where do people live in, in Pigeon Forge? So today we thought we'd view a few of the permanent homes. These are homes that are permanent residents only. They are not allowed to be, have any vacation rental. They could be long-term rental, but they're not vacation rental. So we're gonna tour a few of those and tell you a little bit about Pigeon Forge. We are in front of a home. It's a three bedroom, two bath with 1,300 square foot. It's listed at 535,000. It's close to the city hall, which has the police department and the post office in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, and when we were on our way here, there were plenty of restaurants like Huck Finn. I know we drove by Huck Finn's and there's a, a local church close by. So it's really more of community type than some of the places like in Gatlinburg where there aren't a whole lot of neighborhoods. Permanent so residence Yeah, neighborhood. permanent neighbor residence neighborhoods. So this is just a really cute, brand new construction, just an adorable place and uh, it's available. This is, a, you know, if you're watching this down the road at another time, that, that may not be the case, but currently here today, it is available. And as Deanna said, it's 535,000. Don't wait for tomorrow. post office on the right and then you come to the fire department and we've only driven like a block from the last house uh, and, and then here's city hall and the police department so you are close to all the services or anything you would need right here and you're just a couple of blocks up from the parkway here we are again in Pigeon Forge, and we are just down from the area we passed where you have the city hall and the fire department. So we're just about a half a block as you come around uh, and turn on Pine Mountain Road, which is one of the roads that's typically used by a lot of folks. Um, we're right here at this beautiful renovated home. It was built in 1975, but it has been renovated and it is currently available for $495,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It has 1,805 square foot. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> it is only three tenths of a mile from the parkway in Pigeon Forge. Sorry, allergies. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it's a, gr it's a great place. You have Covered parking here, two driveways, nice wide driveways, so uh, access off and on to Pine Mountain Road is not a problem. Here we are still in Pigeon Forge and we are um, still going through for permanent residence only. This lovely home is in a cul-de-sac. It is only seven tenths of a mile from the parkway. It's a Beb design, which was one of the primary builders and architects uh, in the 70s, so it, it kind of is like, what is the uh, Lloyd, Frank Lloyd Wright kind of style? So this is an awesome, it's got a stone fireplace, it's a well-built home. It also has a detached garage on a separate driveway. It has attic space with and workshop space, and you could probably convert that maybe into an apartment. But the house itself, it's listed at 585,000. It's a three bedroom, three bath. It has 2,489 square foot, and you're only seven tenths of a mile from the parkway in Pigeon Forge. 
So it's very easy access. Right, and it's in a lovely wooded neighborhood. Uh, the houses are, have a good separation. And the extra bonus besides being in the cul-de-sac is there's a fire hydrant right over there. So you're gonna have a uh, good insurance rate. Okay, here we are in Pigeon Forge. And as we mentioned in a couple other videos, this is the library, which is always uh, or typically next to the community center. And this is the community center in Pigeon Forge. It's the newest community center uh, of the three cities. And it's beautiful. It has indoor, outdoor pools, uh, pickleball courts, walking areas, basketball courts, bowling. Um, bowling, workout rooms, you name it, it's got it. Stop by and get a tour. It's a wonderful facility. We're very proud of that. And you were, you are not far from those homes that we are showing you here in Pigeon Forge. The permanent homes are not far from the community center. We are in the Ware Farm City Park and this is the football field. We're going to give you just a general tour of this area, it's a wonderful park, uh, open for everybody. There's little places to sit, covered areas so that the kids can play in the shade with swings and, and uh, what do they call those, jungle gyms. And then there's a pavilion and picnic area where you can sit and I've met clients here before and we've gone over paperwork and such so it's, it's a nice little meeting place in Pigeon Forge. Here's the basketball courts. And you've got plenty of parking so that you can select where it is you're going to play and park near there. Some more climbing facilities and another pavilion. Very, very nice park. Here we are in Pigeon Forge at Waterside Condos. This is new construction that's being built close to the main parkway in Pigeon Forge. You turn there at the Sunline Diner. And this complex, this subdivision, has. Um, it, they're selling they're selling pre-construction so a lot of the lots have already been taken but there are still a few available like this one which is a 2-2 for 375,000 it's 1410 square feet these are little villas kind of you know where they share space so there's one on either side but you do have a garage and in the subdivision they're going to have walkways that go along the river yeah, so it's going to be a very um, peaceful sort of place. And it also gives you easy access to the back roads. You can take the back road on into Sevierville or Pigeon Forge, so uh, further into Pigeon Forge. So it's, it's still very convenient location. This is just a few areas in Pigeon Forge where that we have permanent residents only. There is some others available, which we will be doing later, so stay tuned.